And once again, back for more. <laughs> this uh, video series has, in some ways, gotten a lot, uh, not a lot, but quite a bit larger than I expected. And I knew it would take me some time. But there's just so much to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, the doors, I, I never could find any, any door code that I was really fond of or that I could understand enough to fix. I don't know. Maybe I've, I've learned a little bit. Uh, but we're going to use some custom code uh, that I kind of put together from two or three different people's code. Uh, if you're going to use this, the one thing you want, do want to do before you use it is change these GUIDs. And uh, that's with custom code. This is a, like a universal number that must be unique or whatever. Uh, I have a, a GUID program, but there's plenty of online stuff where you just go in there and they give you examples of them and you copy and paste whatever numbers they, they throw at you. Just right there and then get a new one for right here. Because uh, if, if a lot of people are using the same tutorial and the same GUIDs, they'll clash. And neither one of them will work, right? So it's two blocks of code. Uh, the cargo door in our case and the pilot door. Uh, the, this code, if you wanted to uh to say uh customize it for something else you would change this this and this should stay the same then you can also change this variable name here and then uh, there's four instances of it total there and there and then this is is irrelevant you can name these whatever you want. These are the objects in, in Blender. And this is your uh, name of your animation. Well, I'm showing here. Here's the name of your animation on the cargo door, which is right there. Like I said, those three should stay the same. Also, you'll notice uh, that these should stay the same as well. I'm not 100% certain about this one, but I've been changing it. And uh, yeah, and then here here's another example of the exact same code where I just made it move. In this case, I had a duffel bag that I put in the back seat so that I could remove the passenger uh, co-pilot and and click a different uh, interaction spot and move my move the duffel bag from the back seat to the front seat. And you'll notice I, I just this is just a third example of how I how you uh, you know how how you edit this uh, this code and you can use it for any visual code you want. So we'll just start here and we're going to copy everything. This an these animation names I should say when you have an animation name and then part info we haven't actually used that. So I should should mention that that this is a custom code, so it's going to go in the main uh, section. All right, package sources all the way to our model XML file. Now, if you notice, all right, here's the main section. The main section for us contains this LODs and the behaviors. Now. This code, because it's custom, doesn't go in the behaviors like all these component templates. These are all templates. So in, instead of, we could, we could put it right there, okay? Because that would be outside. It doesn't go in this behaviors. But rather than put it up here, most people tend to go all the way down here. And there's the, there's the behaviors closing mark so they'll put it right there and and we'll go ahead and follow the that uh, standard I guess you'd call it so I'm just going to grab both sections of code my cargo door and my pilot code I'm going to copy that including the comments for, for good measure right? 
And I'll paste it down here below that uh, behaviors. In fact, They like to use this as a divider, why don't I, huh? Just so we can see where that uh, custom coding would start. Okay, now this kind of becomes our, uh, you know, our, our roadmap because this has to be this and this become our two, uh, uh, animation names or NLA tracks in Blender. But I've already got that broken down here. In other words, there's where our NLA tracks go. And and you can see this is just a different scenario we're gonna we're gonna work through. Alright, so our coding is done. Let's go to our model and set this up. Now this model has three parts for the door and in the I will say in the uh this I, I actually did do a test run of this one. <laughs> and in this one and that one I actually merged all three of these including or four parts including the window. And I'm not sure ah, there we go if you should do that. Is that the window? Yeah. Now that's definitely the window. <laughs> Sorry, I got to get all these parts selected, and I don't want to mess that up. Cause then, then a part won't move with the rest of it. Uh, there we go. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I didn't want, though, is the glass. I don't know how to unselect it. All right. Chat. Sorry. Shouldn't be cash. All right. Ah. I'm going to get it here in a minute. There we go. Now. Right. All right. Control J. Thank you. Now we're going to hide the window. I want to select the window. Select the door. And we'll just basic parent that that way that just to keep it I, I did it I joined all of them but I don't think that's the best way to do it all right now we can set the door and the window should follow it and we don't have to uh, you know I joined them and, and the reason I don't think that's such a great idea is because the window has a unique uh, texture uh, it worked but I still don't think that's all right we'll set the door to go there and then we'll just go to a hundred. I'm gonna set up anything fancy. Uh, 
I'll let you ride out into the prop. Oh, well, <laughs> be careful when you get out of this aircraft. Uh, linear. Okay. Now we need to set up a trigger. And in this one, we're going to actually use a door handle. Uh, and that'll, oh, you know what else I want to do? I want to... That's before I throw it to my... I want to duplicate, and I want to move that to, say, 20. Yeah. So now it now it's static from 0 to 20, and you'll see why, because I just thought of that. Alright, where's my hand? Close these. Throw this in here. Go to my list. That's our pilot door. Uh, let's put our uh, thing in before we jump somewhere else. In that in there it might move the entire object somewhere else on the list. Alright, copy that there. Pilot door, pilot door open. Alright, now we need our trigger. Our trigger will be also parented under that door. So we don't have a trigger or a door handle. I'm just going to create a silly door handle. Where am I? No, I don't need that. Huh? Oh yeah, a cube, not a not a missile. Oh my god! Ah, say something like this. And here, yeah, where am I going? Sometimes that grab box can hurt you. Sometimes it's great. Uh, said I'm not trying to make a great model here. I'll we'll call that a door handle. Ah, uh, so. Put that dot about there. And while it's still selected, we'll set origin. 3D cursor. Perfect. Now that'll, that'll allow it to spin around on one edge, kind of like a door handle. To put a peg, you should have a peg or something going into the door behind it, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to get super uh, positioned either. Let's call that good. Let's, let's say that's our door handle and uh, back. Yeah, that's it right there. There we go. Got a door handle. Alright, now I'll set our uh, animation up for it. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this door for a second. All right, so it's going to be there. Now, the reason I, I moved my other one over to 20 is so we could uh, go to 20. And here, I want to open the, pull the doorknob before the door starts opening. Just to make it look good. And then we'll go to our hundred. I don't remember where it was. Uh, so return to here. Uh, 
Now, I didn't go very far here with this second one. I probably should have made it pull further. But that'll look all right. Let's see what the door, what it looks like with the door. All right, let's throw it up here. And it's gonna. We're just gonna use the same trigger. Same animation name. And uh, did I ever parent one under the other? Probably not. I need to select the object I'm going to parent. Shift, select the parent object I'm going to parent to. And parent object. Uh, let's double check that pilot door. Let me look at that, make sure pilot door. Yeah, we got the pilot door handle. And the glass, which we didn't read. I thought I need to, but. Good. Pilot window. Anyway. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, and now I'm back on. There we go. Alright. Now this one is actually our door handle. So we need to add a GLTF deal to this. Uh, do I not have that? Huh, I need to put that on here somewhere. Sure do. I don't have that in there at all. Uh, from the one I just uploaded. It is. We're going to need all that on here. Because this pilot door handle needs this uh, the LTF validator. Let you trigger. Let's set that to data. Uh, Set that to standard, and then you could set your texture down here if you need to. Or when you need to. All right, that's that one. Now, here's one. We'll set the back door up very similar, except instead of having a trigger that's tied to it, we're just going to put a trigger right here. Because if you're, well, I was just there. But if you say in the in the pa in the pilot seat, you're halfway there. You know, and you're looking over there. You know what you're going to be able to see or click on is right in here. You could put a, a trigger in there or a door handle, but I'm just going to show you a little bit different way to do it. Uh, so we'll add a key. Basically the exact same way as we did with the, the door handle. And you can do, I mean, you may have to do the door handle this way eventually if, if it doesn't work with the uh, texture. I haven't really explored all the possibilities here. I'll put a good size trigger here just for fun. 
And it's not really relevant. You can click through these objects. <laughs> so that's not. Uh, I'm doing this opposite the other one. All right. Uh, so this is going to be the cargo door handle. And we got to make the uh, door animate, I guess. Uh, let's uh, hide that for just a second. Like that. Ah. I don't even know what I selected there. What the hell? He's selecting everything but what I want to select. There we go. <laughs> There's three parts to this door, an inside, outside, and a uh, window sill. There we go. Got them. Control J. Now we have one part. Thank you. <laughs> right, now we can unhide the window. Uh, alt H because because I need to parent it that's why then I can hide it uh, hide that select what I want to parent shift select the parent object thank goodness now, now we're done with that uh, now I just need to rotate and uh, what do we name that cargo door? Whatever it is, there it is. This is the wrong one. Yeah. Ah. Ah, I love that when that happens. <laughs> Just so I know what it is. All right, now we're ready to rotate. That's a rotate. Key this first one. Rotate it out. Yeah, it's gonna jump back. I forgot to move the thingy. All right. Now, now do that again. That looks good. Key the open. Set it as uh, linear. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to finish our trigger. But let's uh, throw that up here. There we go. Cargo door open is the name of our animation. Right, 
Let's go back to this trigger. Uh, and we're not going to set any animation for it at all. So all we got to do is add the material. And this is here. I'm not sure how much all this is actually, but I had, had trouble working it. And again, we want to make it invisible, so I'll we'll take it to a decal, zero the alpha. And that should give us an opening rear door. And you could do the same thing. Like the bottom code I, is all I did with it. With it was just have a, another trigger. I had a trigger. I have a trigger for the co-pilot visibility. So I just threw another trigger up here, like on the back of the seat, and had a bag that I placed here, and then I moved it here. And with you know the two frames and uh, constant. Anyway, it, you'll see what I'm saying. It, it'll work just like this. Uh, so we already have our. Uh, yeah, that's it. So this one, in other words, we're we're not going to parent it or or trigger it so that when you're in the in seat in the seat, you can actually close the door. In other words, this is there's an actual reason that I'm showing this as a different way to do it because there are times when when you don't necessarily want the trigger or the whatever you want to call it. Let's see sources to uh, follow the model. I guess I'll have to uh, add, uh, add a little bit where that uh, material name on there. Kind of forgot some of that. Yeah, I used to get an error, and this would uh, close when I close the error, and now I don't get the error. <laughs> I don't know what they did, they changed it. See if we have opening doors now. And yeah, the, the code is, is just like I said, it, it's a big block of code. But it, if you, you know, if you pay attention to what you're doing, you can edit it and make it work for as many doors or openings as you need. And like I say, you can actually, it, it's kind of fun. I, I, I wanted, I had a, I actually downloaded a duffel and, and did that with it, but the texture's messed up. I didn't feel like messing with it, so. <laughs> I'll leave the code in there. I'll change that, and up, you know, add, leave the code in there. It's just a good example of how you can, a third example of how, of what to edit to, to uh, customize the code. Always want to load into the hangar, but 
Can't really test animation in there. <laughs> A lot of the animations and, and setup can can become very repetitive, but the the interactive ones are the fun ones. You know, they're they're. You know, it's it's always cool to get. Oh, I never did resize or get them placed. But and there you go. Uh oh, there it goes. And then basically, see, you can click the same spot to close it. Now, over here. Uh oh, what did I do wrong? Yeah, I don't know why that was open. Huh? Not. A, yeah, it's not the same. Shouldn't be the same. That's the whole point in the custom cut. But yeah, there's our, you know, our door handle acting like a door handle. Here's our, our. I might have to double check my code. I'm getting something odd here. <laughs> I got ghosts in the machine. Maybe I just forgot. Anyway. <laughs> and there we go. Now we have uh, two different ways to use the uh, code. And as you can see, the window just follows just like the door handle because it's parented. And uh, same here. This one doesn't follow. It just moves the door. Of course, we still have the. I gotta, I gotta resize him. I think he's he's bugging me. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope that help, helps you get your doors motivated, and uh, that that'll give us some some animations in in the vehicle. It's always fun to have some clickables. <laughs> have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.